Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this pen holder. Let's hop right to it. Okay, let's start out by right clicking here at the top of the browser. Select new component. Let's go ahead and name it pen holder. All righty, it's much better. Change the casing. Okay, now let's go ahead select create cylinder let's choose this plane here we'll select the center drag it out and we'll make this 50 millimeters okay and let's go ahead and make the height 70 millimeters let's go ahead and click okay all right let's create a fillet this bottom face Let's go ahead and make this 0.3 millimeters. Actually, I'm sorry, three millimeters. Okay. Let's use the shell command. Select this top face here and make it 0.5 millimeters. Okay. Let's select the front view. Create a sketch on a front plane. Okay, let's go ahead and select the two point rectangle tool. Let's go to the very top right edge. At this point here, we're gonna create two point rectangle. The left side, we'll make this two millimeters. Hit the tab key and we'll make the top three millimeters. Hit enter. Now it's fully defined. Okay, now before we exit out of this sketch, let's go ahead and do something. Let's select 3D sketch here. Okay, all right. Let's go over to create, go down to project include, and let's select include 3D geometry. Now let's select this outer edge here and finish the sketch, okay? All right. Now, let's go ahead and use, go to create, use a sweep command. Let's select this profile we just created. Now for the path, Okay, so first of all, we're gonna make sure we select type. It's gonna be single type, single path, sorry. Profile, we just selected this profile here. Path, we're gonna select this path here we just chose, which is that purple line, okay? Change selection, doesn't really matter because we only have one path. Now, we're gonna click okay. Make sure this operation is set to join. All right, now let's go ahead and add some fillets. Let's select this edge here and this edge here, and let's make this one millimeter, okay? Now, let's go ahead and hit the plus symbol, and let's select this face on the outer edge here, okay? We'll make this 0.5 millimeters, and click OK. All right. Once again, let's select the front view. Let's create a sketch. Select this plane. Okay, let's go ahead and create a construction line. So we select the line tool, construction line. Consequently, you can go ahead and hit the create uh, tab. Okay, line or L and then select construction. Okay, so let's go ahead and start here. The very top, as you can see, a triangle and an X, which puts it in the very middle of this profile here. Select it, and we'll just go ahead and drag it down to the center point here. And you'll see a box, left click, and then hit the checkbox. And that's it, okay? Let's go ahead and turn off 3D Sketch, because we don't want to be in 3D anymore, okay? Let's hit the Escape key. Let's just verify that is correct, okay? Let's use the front plane again, correction front view. Now let's go ahead and hit the create command, polygon, circumscribe polygon. We're gonna create one polygon. Actually, let's escape out of that. We need to turn off construction. Let's go to create, polygon, circumscribe polygon. Okay, 
And what we want to do is measure that polygon. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and give it a horizontal constraint right here. So we select constraints, horizontal, vertical. And let's go ahead and select this top line to give it a vertical correction, horizontal constraint. Excuse me, getting a little tongue tied today. All right. So we're going to select. We also want to give it some dimensions. So we go to create. OK. And where's the dimension command at? Where is it? Where is it? Sketch dimension, sorry. Select this line here, this line here. We're gonna make this three millimeters, okay? Now we're gonna select the distance between this line and this line to be one millimeter, all right? And what we wanna do is go to constraints, okay? Coincident, select this point here and this line so it's joined together, okay? All right, let's go to the create menu again. Select polygon, circumscribe polygon. Create another polygon. So once again, go to constraints, horizontal vertical. Select this top line to give it a horizontal constraint. Let's go ahead and use constraints. Coincident, select this point and this line, okay? Now, let's go ahead and give this line here and this line here a dimension and we'll make it three millimeters. And again, if you want to have more commands in this top bar here, what you can do is go to create. Okay. And if you'll see these three dots right here, left click, pin the toolbar, pin the shortcuts. Okay. Now what we want to do, I'm going to go ahead and take off pin toolbar and it disappears, but I want to go back in the toolbar. And as you can see, it's back again. And you can actually uh, arrange it how you see fit. I'll just grab it and drag it back over. And there you have it. Okay. Now, what we want to do is select the line command. Construction. I'm going to select this point here and bring it over until you can see a perpendicular symbol right here. Looks almost like an L. And we're going to make this line one millimeter. Okay. What we're going to do again is select the coincident constraint, select this point here and this point here and lock them into place. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. We want to use the extrude command. So we'll go to create extrude and I've already put it in the, the top toolbar. So extrude going to select these two prof profiles we just created. Okay. Now, Extent type is going to be two object. So let's select this side of this object here. Okay. The operation is going to be set to cut. As you can see, it's going to be red and it's going to put a hole on this outer edge. Click. Okay. All right. And if just in case, if your uh, geometry is all over the place and you can't see where it is, just go ahead and hit the home command and you can go ahead and set it as you see fit. Choose any one of these to basically give you the view that you want. Okay. All right. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and we want to create a rectangular pattern. So we're going to go create pattern, rectangular pattern. Okay. We want the type to be set to features and the objects we're going to select. It's going to be this extrusion right here. Okay. The direction we want it to be is going to be up and down. So let's go ahead and select this line, this vertical line here. Okay. Under the axis, which is a Z axis. Okay. And we want to have the quantity. We want it to be 15. Um, actually, let's go ahead and drag this line down first. And the quantity we want to be 15. Okay. And we want the length to be negative. 4.09, I believe it is. Compute option, we want to be optimized. Click OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and use the circular pattern command. All right. Type is going to be features again. We want to select the extrusion as well as the pattern. OK. And the axis, we want to be the body, the round surface. Okay. And the quantity we want to be 23. It's already been selected, obviously, but yeah, we want the quantity to be 23 
the computer option is going to be optimized and we'll click OK. We'll give it some time to do its thing. And there it is. OK. All right, let's give it an appearance. I went with the steel satin. Under Fusion 360 libraries, steel satin, not stainless steel, steel satin. Okay. Let's go ahead and increase the color of it to like a darker color. I went 75, 75, 75. We'll keep the roughness as is. Click done. Close it out. Let's go ahead and do a quick render on it and see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and set the focal length to 200 millimeters, roughness 0 0.05. Okay, depth of field we do want. Let's just place it here. Let's change the blur to 0 0.04. Okay, because we don't want it too blurry. All right. Let's select the position icon here. And we can rotate the object around the lights or the lights around the object, shall I say. And I like that a lot better. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let it render for a bit. And there you have it, your pen holder. Well, I hope you liked this quick tutorial. Stick around, and I'll see you in the next up-and-coming video.